as if this is not bad enough, you have to realize that it is not the mandate of law enforcement to investigate to any level beyond criminal. According to the website arrivealive.co.za, there are upwards of one million road traffic collisions in South Africa per year. I am Stan Besaidner, a forensic accident investigator and reconstructionist with IBF Investigations. Since 2000, I've investigated road crash scenes in the capacity of a private investigator, government contractor and special reservist within the South African Police Service. For starters, we need to agree that vehicles are not just boxes. Vehicles get damaged, they have round forms, they can turn over, they can lie on their roofs. We've got to consider all this when we go to mark vehicles on scenes. We have all heard that you should mark the position of vehicles on accident scenes and many people are not sure of exactly how to do that. In spite of that, even more are not sure whether they are allowed to or not. This video will teach you how and when to mark vehicles and other elements at and around road traffic accident scenes. Vehicles are either marked by spraying around the wheels or by spraying some marks around the corners of the vehicle. While both could provide information about where the vehicle was, they lack depth and information. You can tell nothing more from these marks than where the vehicle was found. If you want to mark the position of the vehicle, you always mark the corners and follow the form of the actual corners of the vehicle, recording not only position, but also shape and damage. While you are busy, you can consider the direction or orientation of the vehicle. You add this to your marking by adding an arrow on the front. This arrow will always be added on the side where the steering wheel of the vehicle is. These simple marks will also show whether the vehicle is right-hand drive or left-hand drive. While you've marked the position of the vehicle, you've also recorded the actual damage to the vehicle. If a vehicle is undamaged, the front will obviously be square. In this case, you can clearly see the amount of crush as a result of how you've marked this vehicle. Some vehicles are damaged less and others more so. Also think of vehicles that hit pedestrians or vehicles that have rolled over. When it comes to marking a vehicle that rolled over, you will still mark the position of the vehicle, but now your steering wheel is on the other side so your arrow goes on the other side. At the same time, we want to add this little circle to the arrow to show that this was an overturned vehicle. A vehicle on its side will still include an arrow, but the shape should be recorded as truthfully as possible. Now that you have an overview of how to mark the position of vehicles and other elements, you also need to be aware of when you will be allowed to do so. According to the Road Traffic Act here in South Africa, no vehicle may be moved from their position of rest unless they cause an obstruction or when there is danger or risk to people or other road users. Further, it states that the vehicle may then only be moved as far as necessary to reduce or eliminate the risk, but only once the position of the vehicle has been clearly marked. So look out for our All the Evidence video where you will learn the full 124-point IBF protocol. In the complete video, you will learn what information to record when you receive the call, who to report to when you arrive at the accident scene, and what information to get from them. We will inform you of the responsibilities of all role players. You will learn how to approach the scene and the evidence systematically, and how to proceed without contaminating evidence. You will also learn how to photograph the general scene, how to photograph vehicles within that scene, how to do so systematically, and how to draw the scene after having measured accurately. This segment was made possible through the kind sponsorship of Bala World Logistics and the support and assistance of the National Department of Transport's Road Traffic Management Corporation.